It's your boy, man. It's my bro, Feet. Fatality. Fatality. We here with the floaters. Damn, that's crazy. So what was it in like, in like 20, was it 2018? Yeah, like 2018 at AVG, above yeah. ground. Over East, yeah. one of the best studios in the city. Type shit. Yeah, we met, we met at that um, studio through somebody named Zay for real. Bro, was, he just kept hitting me on the ground for real. He was just like, yeah. You gotta come fuck with me and my niggas at the studio. I got an engineer for you, you feel me? He hard as shit. Come fuck with me. For a while he was hitting me, but like, at first I ain't, he ain't had no pictures on his gram, so it was like, at first it was like, man, who this nigga is? <laughs> Keep asking the nigga come through for real, but then after a while it was like, man, fuck it, what the fuck can the nigga lose? He was just like, all right, we gonna slide down there. Me and my brother Prophet, we slid down there, met feet ever since then. Niggas been locked in. Shit, I was I was already like locked in at the studio for probably about like two years. And like I was already like dealing with like working with, you know, different niggas and shit. And it wasn't really like working out that well. So I wasn't really like looking forward to it. I ain't even gonna lie. It was just something that I was doing to help out my man Zay at the time, because he was, you know, kept telling me. He got this young dude that's hard. He feel like he got potential, you know, to be somebody great. And then I was just like, yeah, I could see it too. But at the same time, just like, yo, I've been working with young dudes. It's just not it. I really don't be fucking with their personalities and shit. So I wasn't really fucking with it. But I just, you know, I I took bro word for it. I was like, all right, let's do it. So wind up, like bro said, came through. And off the rip, it was just like, all right, I fuck with bro, like I felt bro Real vibe, shit. I knew it was different, and yeah, we've been locked down ever since then. Real <laughs> shit. I ain't gonna lie, nah, I ain't gonna lie, that's big bro, like, Brody taught me, I ain't gonna lie, like, without even realizing it, he put me on to a lot of little stuff for real, kinda brought in my perspective on life for real, made a lot of things easier in a way for real, like, yeah, it was like a, bro, like, came around and it was like a big brother I never had for real type shit, so it was cool. Hell yeah, same, likewise for real, I feel the same way, like we family more than anything. Facts. Like niggas will be together, ain't doing shit, you feel me, just chilling. And I feel like that's really how God be for any niggas to even really like be able to make music together, at least decent music together. But yeah, it's definitely deeper than the music when it comes to our, like our relationship and shit, for sure, type shit. Oh, shit. The name of um the name of the project Army of Two. Yeah, dropping August nineteenth, twenty twenty two. Make sure y'all be prepared for that. It's about to be lit. Yep. Army of Two, you know, shit pretty much speaks for itself for real. Army of Two. You know? Army of two guys. We don't need no more than two guys. We did everything ourselves. You feel me? Oh, shit. Everything. Bought the muscle. Nah, this is the second this is the second take. My man produced every beat on there, engineered every song, you feel me? It about to be slight. Like, second take. Third project. We yeah. got EP. We got EP, that shit cool. And full we trust. That shit cool for real. Yes, that was the last shit we dropped. Oh shit. Well how how long ago was it? Like two years. Yeah. Two and a half years, almost three years now. Yeah, facts. But they don't feel like it though, cause we've been working. So at the end of the day, hey, shit never stop. I mean, I feel like every, I feel like all my songs be like personal and deep. But like, I feel like the way I like put my shit for real, I know exactly what I be talking about. But it'll relate like to another ear. And another perspective for real, it might fit somewhere different in the shift for real. Like, it might work for somebody differently how they connect to it. So I be trying to put it on a level where it's though like everybody will feel me without having to like get into like too into depth for real about it. Like, yeah, I feel like I got personal, 
But you got to peep it to peep it. If you don't, it'll just go over your head. But you'll catch it on the back end type shit. I ain't going to lie. Like, I don't, we don't ever force it. Like, this nigga, <laughs> he, he make sure, like, we don't ever force nothing for real. Like, because my mind will always be going, like, Yo, we should do this. We should do this. But no, nah, dummy, I think we should do that, too. My mind never stopped. But it's like. He be like, all right, you feel me? We can do this, and then we can do this. You feel me? But let's do this first type shit. So it kind of be like the balance for real. Like, we don't never cap nothing off. We literally just wait till time tell us to stop in a way. Like, all right, you feel me? Y'all done did this. Y'all recorded this. Y'all done worked on this. All right, what's going to be on what? Like, what, what y'all doing with what? So that's usually how it go. But it be happening naturally for real. Hell yeah, that shit just be coming to us. Like we work, we just work. We don't, we just do it, we just work. And then eventually, like if we got in our mind that we working on a project, of course we gonna like put that as the, you know, the main objective. But Fair. for the most part, we making the music, we listening to the music, we vibing to the music, we having fun while we doing it. And then it just all fall into place every single time. Like I was supposed to. All right, the emotions on the tape. It might be, all right, because I don't know. All right, so how we made it for real, like, we made the tape. Brody was cooking up the beat. He was cooking up his part, and then he'll send it, he'll send it over to me, and then I do, the, I do the finale of the cooking for real, and then we'll just straight go record. But honestly, like, I can say the, the tape just, it's like a roller coaster for real, like, it, it captured a, I feel like it captured a moment of like realization for real, like a shift in energy, like like time to take it up a notch for real, like time to go. I feel like that's what it caught. I feel like as far as like my songs for the females, I feel like I got, I, I got a lot of stuff talking about like believing in yourself, loving yourself for real and going to that extreme for yourself type shit. Like, basically promoting the like, focus on yourself type shit, so yeah. I feel like self-love is like the key to, you know, this little weird ass world we live in for real. Shit. Self-love, you love yourself and you can love, you You don't know how to love other people and shit like that for real. Right. I really feel like it helped you better, like, it helps you know who to love and it help you learn how you're supposed to love them based off of how you love yourself. Like, I don't know how to explain it if I didn't explain it, but yeah. I ain't gonna lie, honestly, all I can say y'all can expect from me, shit, I know bro a time in too is more work. Like, I don't wanna cap nothing off. I don't wanna limit myself to nothing. I'm pretty sure bro feel the same way. Yeah, just expect consistency. Fact. That's it. Like, yeah, oh, shit. just consistency and that's it. Don't expect too much from niggas, but just know we working. Facts. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel like I took a little, I feel like I took a, a break, but I didn't take a break. I feel like I took a break from like the showcase inside, like actually showing because I had to actually figure out what I wanted to do, not only what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it. So it was like, I was doing, I was trying to focus on that, focus on everything else I'm trying to do, focus on everything I want to do. And it, it, took a, it took me a minute to find a little balance for real, but I found that shit. And I ain't, I ain't trying, like, I ain't gonna fumble. So, oh yeah. yeah, niggas big on balance, like just making sure shit you know, it's like equally balanced out. Like you can't be focused on the music too much if niggas ain't focused on our personal life. Like sure. Going back to self love and shit like that, you know, like never gonna be able to, you know, deliver and have fun while doing it if we're not focused on ourselves at the end of the day, so. Oh, shit. Oh my god, is this the photos?